In this lecture, we are going to discuss in-group and out-group as discussed by William Graham Sumner in his concept of folkways. Before we get into what is an in-group and what is an out-group, let us quickly revise what is a social group. We know that a group becomes a social group when certain uh, characteristics or prerequisites are met. For example, there has to be a collection of two or more people. There has to be a continuous interaction. As you know, interaction is a very important point in micro-sociological perspective. There has to be common interests and also a sense of loyalty within the group members. This is how a social group is formed. Now, in this concept of in-group and out-group, Sumna mentioned that in-group is the group where we have the feeling of we-group. There is a feeling of belongingness. Whereas the out-group is the they-group. That is, we do not belong to that group and we do not feel any sense of attachment. In a nutshell, we can say that there are three differences between in-group and out-group. In-group is a group where the individual identifies himself or herself with and he has a sense of belongingness. This is also we group and there is a sense of attachment among the members. On the other hand, out-group, there the individual feels he has no sense of belongingness or identification. That means he does not identify with the group. It is a they group. And there is a sense of indifference. Rather than attachment, there is a sense of indifference and hostility. Now coming to the concept, how was this terminology, um, how did it come into being and who propagated it? So this was made popular by a psychologist. His name is Henry Tashville. He categorized this. Okay, so he said that, how do you understand what kind of a group is there and what kind of group do you identify with? So this categorization, it was identified using a paradigm which was called as minimal group paradigm. So mind you, this was based on psychological analysis. And after this paradigm, after this experimentation, it was found that people can form self-preferred groups within minutes. For example, when we go to a new college or a new school, it takes hardly uh, 5 to 10 minutes when we are young children to form groups because we can just quickly identify what our likes are and what the other people's likes are. And if the likes are similar, we will make a group and that is of our preferred choice. It also happens, uh, the experimentation was done on the basis of a painting. For example, when people go to an art gallery and if there is a painting of a modern art, there will be very few people who would actually understand what is the message behind that art. And the people who do, they can create a group within minutes because they can actually eliminate the people who are there just for the sake of being there and who do not actually understand art. Therefore, it is said that we can make self-preferred group within minutes. Now coming to the classification, it is important to note that the classification in in-group and out-group is not on the basis of size. It is not important what is the size of the group, but it is important or the being or the essence of this group is the sense of belongingness and the sense of attachment. Because in an in-group, the person psychologically identifies as being a member and in an outgroup, the individual does not identify with. For example, if there is a group of 10 people who are looking at, uh, a, you can take the example of the same art gallery who are looking at the picture. So perhaps the on when we count, there are 10 people, but only four of them actually understand the art. They actually identify with each other. They actually understand what is happening. That is how in-group or psychologically identification is being made. Now coming to a new concept of social category. What is the social category? Please understand that there are some kind of groups which are quasi-groups. Okay, In sociological terms, they are not 
really groups but they are quasi groups for example social category is a kind of category where there is statistical grouping of people and it is on the basis of similar characteristics for example consider that i am going to produce a movie perhaps so i need some actors my criteria of choosing those actors would be maybe on the basis of their height maybe on the basis of their appearance maybe on the basis of their dialect it could be many so what i'm going to do i'm going to group people on the basis of some say language so i'm going to group people on the basis of who speaks english who speaks hindi who speaks marwadi and so on and so forth so there is a grouping of people and it is statistical in nature so the two features that are accounted here are there is no interaction with the people because it is not a group on the basis of interaction or on the basis of common interest it is by the virtue of statistics and on the basis of some need and the similarity of characteristic second feature is they do not even know about each other's existence because they just met or maybe they haven't even met maybe i did the interview on a phone call and i just grouped them on the basis of the characteristics so this is how a quasi group is formed but a quasi group has the potential of becoming a social group over time for example now this group which i chose on the basis of some characteristics they may form a social group with time when they come into interaction with each other so i can say that the features of quasi group are they temporarily share the same physical space they do not belong together they do not have interaction some other examples can be a crowd for example if there is an accident and a crowd has just gathered so they temporarily are sharing the same physical space they are at the spot of the accident but they do not belong together and they may or may not have an interaction and even if they have an interaction it will be of a very temporary and small nature another example can be commuters who are struck in a a uh, traffic jam okay so the commuters who are stuck there for really long hours they can be called as a quasi group now let us look at some questions there's a statement here statement 1 is all domestic workers in a locality may over time form a union this is correct the domestic workers who are looking uh, who are living in the same space may form a union statement 2 says that they can become an organized group and develop a common identity and form a social group so this is also correct because they are fulfilling the two prerequisites of a social group that is organization they are organized and they have a common identity so the answer will be option 1 both are true question number 2 when people find it psychologically meaningful to view themselves according to their race culture gender or religion it is an so now see the keywords here is meaningful and according to their race culture that means these can be uh, you know categorized under preferences so when they group themselves under their own preferences and it has some meaning to them this is an example of an in group it will not be an out group because there is a feeling of belongingness it is not a reference group because reference group is something we aspire to become we aspire to get into a group and primary group is our parents family so therefore the answer will be option 1 in group so i hope you got this lecture thank you for watching